Hi guys, this is a look that I have made that can be used for the holiday or for New Year's. It's basically just black eyeliner, red lids, red nails, red heels, and just combining with black and white. It's a really easy look and really quick to do. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. We're gonna start off with a bare face and in the meantime, we're gonna drink water because it's always good for us. We're gonna start off by applying Gabriel foundation and I like to use this sponge. I call it the triangle sponge, but it's actually a wedgie sponge. I apply it all over my face and then with a the brush, I'm gonna blend it to my skin, making sure to blend it really well. And then one more time with the triangle, I'm gonna dab it on my troubled spots. Then let's apply concealer. I'm going to apply it on any dark spots left and under my eyes. Then with another brush, we're going to blend it out. Then using the same triangle, I'm going to use the other side to blend the concealer from the under eye. Now let's apply powder to get rid of the shyness. And then let's just start applying the powder to our face. Another way that I apply powder sometimes, it's using a regular brush and pressed powder. I apply it on my T-zone and whatever is left, I also apply it on my chest area. Then let's move on to blush. And just apply it on the apples of our cheeks for a nice warmth color. Then let's moisturize our lips to get them ready for lipstick. In the meantime, let's work with our eyebrows. I started with brushing my eyebrows and I'm going to be using this eyebrow kit. Picking my favorite stencil and deciding with a dark brown to match my hair color. Place it on your face and just start coloring in. And let's do the same on the other side. And then grabbing our mascara brush, we're going to blend it out to make it more natural looking. Let's move on to eyeshadow. And I'm going to be using this e.l.f. palette that I got for my sister for Christmas. I'm going to be going for light colors. And then from the same palette, I'm going to be going for a light brown. Now, moving on to eyeliners. First, I'm going with this black eyeliner. And creating a really thin line just touching our eyelashes. We're going to trace the black line that we just did with liquid eyeliner this time. Then for the bottom, I'm going to be using this eyeliner by Milani and it's like a golden shade. Time for eyelashes. And I'm going to be using this clean eyelash brush and it's just to brush the little hairs. And get ready for the mascara curler. Get it there and then just apply your mascara. Now that our lips are well moisturized, let's apply the red lipstick. And don't forget to dab your lips. Mwah, mwah. And to make it even more fun, we're gonna apply falsies. Yay! And to make it a little bit easier, I'm gonna be using this eyelash holder that comes with a little tray and the clipper. So basically, all you do is just place your glue onto the holder so after adding the glue, we're just going to apply the falsies on the tray and let it sit for about 30 seconds. And then with the clipper, we're going to be applying the eyelashes. Make sure to apply where you need them to be and gently open the clippers. Sometimes because a little bit of the glue might still be visible, I'm just going to go over it with a black eyeliner, the same one that I used before. And just to add a little bit more to the effect, I'm going to be doing the cat eyeliner look. And just one more layer of mascara. Makeup is complete. Check. Now, on to the hair. I'm just going to let my hair loose. And let's brush my hair. I use this beanie brush. The nice thing about this brush, you can use it on dry hair or wet hair. I'm just going to apply a protective smoothie spray onto my hair. We're going to separate the hair. I like separating my hair into two sections, the top and the bottom. I'm just going to clip my top section and then the bottom, I'm just going to divide it into two. 
Using the brush one more time, I'm gonna make sure I don't have any tangles and let's start with the iron. I'm gonna start flat ironing my hair and just going downward. So to not make this video long, I have gone to my bathroom and I straightened my hair. Hair done, complete. Check. Now, the outfit. This is the fun part too, where I get to pick my beautiful dress and these three pairs of shoes that I have. Not sure if I'll be going for black, red, or nude. So while I make up my mind, let's get dressed. Ooh. I'm going to be putting on my jewelry pieces, my bracelets, and my watch, my ring, and all those good things. And let's not forget earrings. And I think the best part for me is just putting on my perfume oil, which is my favorite. I have been using this for about two years now and I wouldn't change it for anything. So guess what? I decided for the red heels. Outfit is complete. The heels are comfortable, the dress feels perfect, and guess what? I forgot to take off the tag for this video. Oopsie, so sorry. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you until the next one. Bye! Fifteen. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. I have a list of things that I want to accomplish in 2015, but I like to keep it a secret and let everyone know when I accomplish them. That's how I am. Um, just a few people know about a few things, but not everyone knows about all the things that I want to do. It's in my... I always make a list and it's in my laptop in a hidden file like really 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 hidden like a treasure mm -hmm. 